Here are a few nice things that people have said about Willie recently. Brad Walseth from Chicago, jazzchicago.net says, Chicago's Willie Pickens is a true phenomena, a truly humble, kind, honest, and spiritual person with incredible talent. We here in Chicago are fortunate to have a beautiful soul such as Willie Pickens to appreciate. Says the Chicago Tribune's Howard Reich, with his large and complex chords, his great splashes of color and dissonance in the right hand, and his barrel house octaves in the left, Pickens never lets the dramatic intensity flag. The Chicago Reader's Jazz critic Neil Tesser comments, Pickens' most exuberant solos all but take flight from the keyboard's runway. So I kind of learn to like pretty much all types of music. If it speaks to me and has some beauty, then that's what I like. So uh, I think you started recording then in the um, in the mid '60s and the early '60s. You did a record with Eddie Harris. Yes, this was called Exodus to Jazz, and it was kind of a a jazz hit, you know, so to speak, because he took this uh, Exodus composition and kind of arranged it in, in a, a jazz manner, and I had a kind of elaborate concert type uh, intro on that recording. And then I, I remember hearing it on the streets, you know, playing. Uh, you walk down the street and you could hear it through loudspeakers. So it was quite a, it was, uh, for jazz, that at that time, it was quite a hit. And then also, it took us to Newport. It's 1961, we played the Newport Jazz Festival as a result of that recording. Mm-hmm. So how how did you um, how how did you get to work with Elvin Jones? Well, you know, once he came here at one time at the jazz showcase, and I was called in. And at that time, Elvin, after we got through playing, he said, "Well, you know, sometimes uh, I have these jobs, and I'd like you to work with me when 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 you're available." And then it was about 15 years later, or so he came back. And his pianist uh, that uh, that was with him was leaving, and so he asked me to join the group, which was called the Jazz Machine. And uh, this was 1990. great time playing with Elvin because he was one that gave a hundred percent you know I and mean, he would sweat profusely when he played and, and he just gave everything he had you know Elvin I've made about at least four recordings with Elvin too 